Are you tired of struggling to start a fire? Are damp conditions and soggy kindling ruining your camping trips? Introducing fire plugs from Bigfoot Bushcraft, the ultimate solution to your fire starting woes. Old methods just aren't cutting it, but with the fire plugs, you'll have a roaring fire in no time. Our kit includes everything you need, waterproof tin, fire plugs, and a ferro rod. And with our easy to use design, you'll be a fire starting pro in no time. Don't let a lack of fire ruin your outdoor adventure. Get the fire starter kit and start your next camping trip off right. Order now and use code CHEAPANGLER to get 10% off. Don't wait. Start your fire starting journey today. All of this is supposed to be underwater and the water is actually supposed to be flowing over right here. You can see like the stains and the concrete where the water flows over. And uh, I don't know if there's a trail. Well, I guess we could walk, walk along the thing. Because the trail that goes back there is actually further up, up there by that tree. You can see the trail curves up that way to go around. But that's a lot farther out of the way now since all the water is gone. Because the water is supposed to be all up on the, on the bank. Like oh, You can see the line where the water is supposed to be. Like we should be, I should be waist deep right here. Ooh, it's chilly. <laughs> You're not cold? No. If you get into the shade though, it'll be cold. Actually, that's good to know, because if it's that chilly, then the fish are going to be out in the sun warming up. Like, I would have never guessed how deep this water was, looking at it. Like, you can see where it just drops off and it gets deeper. Yeah. So, well, I don't know if you can see it. I can see it well, even yeah, more the polarized, but yeah. And then, but considering all of this is supposed to be underwater, like it's supposed to be even a lot deeper than that. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> there you go. I had to get my pliers out. You want me to put them on yours so you can bring them in? <laughs> my thing, my camera dies. No, nope, it's still on. You got one? Yeah, you got it. It's better than mine, too. It's about the same size, as you, but I think it might be a little bigger. Here. But you've got to lower it. Oh. It's, you, the rod is in its mouth. Oh. You reeled it in too far. Oh. You're, you're good. Go ahead and reel it back in a little bit. Actually, we'll let him out there to clean him off a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now you put the rod down so you don't hook one of us. <laughs> He's about the same size as the one I caught. There you go. Got you on video catching your second fish. Second fish. Good. Huh. It's gross in there. Have you ever well, looked in there? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you'll see what the last thing they were eating was. Here. Take the picture. <laughs> I don't know if it took the picture. You want to use my camera? 
And uh, you just told everybody on the internet what your uh, passcode is. You're gonna cut that out, right? I can't cut this part out. It's all the one. audio. I, I'll just change it. You're like zoomed way in. <laughs> Let the little bastard go. Yeah. Right on time too. My camera's got a low battery. Oh look, the little frogs. Apples? No frog. Just straight up full frog, but he's tiny. Oh. There you go. Head back? You want to head back, or? I mean, like. I guess we caught caught a couple of fish already. No. I wasn't expecting you to catch one over there, but I guess you were using the right bait. don't really get a sense of how low that water is and how deep this place is. That is crazy. So the water used to be like up to here? Yeah, the water. Uh, we used to stand on that rock and or stand right here and throw under that and catch fish right under that rock. So the water level is down. Like by a eight, lot. Eight to ten feet down from where it should be straight down. Not. Like that's, that's insane.